Republican lawmakers are demanding answers tonight following reports that a federal government program could use your taxpayer dollars to distribute crack pipes to drug addicts. DOP Senator Marshall Blackburn is giving HHS until March 1st to answer whether or not the Biden administration is actually authorizing the distribution of drug paraphernalia. HHS is pushing back, calling the report, quote, blatant misinformation while not explicitly denying its claims. That is where we start tonight's Is It Legal conversation with the host of the Talking Feds podcast, former U.S. Attorney Harry Lippman, and the host of the Nothing But the Truth podcast, criminal defense attorney David Bruno. Welcome back, gentlemen. Hello, Shannon. Thanks, Shannon. Okay, reporting in the Washington Free Beacon says this, HHS said the kits aim to reduce the risk of infection when smoking substances with glass pipes, which can lead to infections through cuts and sores. Applicants for these grants are prioritized if they treat a majority of, quote, underserved communities, including African Americans and LGBTQ plus persons, as established under President Joe Biden's executive order on advancing racial equity. David, there's a lot there. To unpack, but apparently this is about providing materials that the supporters argue will make people safer. And you're also going to get um, prioritized for the grant if you are providing these things to very specific populations. What do you make of it? Yeah, well, the, the pipes got to go. They got to go because it's illegal on the local level and the state level. I mean, it shouldn't be the federal government that's distributing contraband or paraphernalia uh, to society. But but to be fair, the $30 million grant is not all about crack pipes. I mean, it's about education and procedures and counsel and, and various different other equipment and supplies that are needed. I mean, all across the country, states, local governments, they have these grant programs and they are important. They are important to educate and they are important to prevent. But under no circumstances should they be distributing paraphernalia like this. Okay, so this is Senator Blackburn's letter to HHS asking for some answers by March 1st. She says, Code Title 21, Section 863 makes it, quote, unlawful for any person to sell or offer for sale drug paraphernalia to use the mails or any other facility of interstate commerce to transport drug paraphernalia or to import or export drug paraphernalia. She says, is the administration authorizing the distribution of pipes for individuals to smoke crack cocaine, meth, and any other illicit substances. Harry, don't you think it's worth them answering that question? I can answer her tonight. It sounds wild, so I looked into it. It is totally bogus, Shannon. Here's the deal. There's a harm reduction program that everybody agrees with, including that senator and Senator Cotton. Under it, some municipalities have these smoker kits. The, the federal government distributes nothing, by the way, and it all has to be lawful. In these kits are uh, overdose reversal drugs, things to detect fentanyl like that gentleman took one block from where I used to work, by the way, condoms and syringes, which is a little funky, but everyone sort of used it because they reduce overdose, which, which have now gone over 100,000 for the mm -hmm. first time. And guess how many crack pipes? Zero. It hasn't even happened at all. There's a North Carolina place that does have them in their smoker kit. They haven't even applied for a grant. So is it theoretically possible that like syringes, there'd be crack pipe? Probably not because as David says, it's illegal and it all has to be legal. But in any event, it's all part of a kit you give out to reduce uh, harmful behavior. And it's true that pipes that are shared can, in can increase hepatitis mm -hmm. C. But the basic talking point here is bogus. Okay, uh, so David, even if we're talking about giving out syringes, Harry says this is about reducing dangerous behavior. But if you're giving people things or these centers that we've seen show up in a number of different states where the proposals are to allow people to use illegal drugs with supervision so that their lives can be saved if they harm themselves and enter into an overdose, is that what taxpayer dollars should be spent on? That's the question. Yeah, but factually, that needs to be ironed out because what Harry's referencing is the grant, and the grant does go into other legitimate purposes and mm -hmm. equipment. I mean, it says safe sex kits, screening for infectious diseases, and I'm reading from the grant right here, and one of them says, quote, safe smoking kits and supplies, end quote. So 
That needs to be clarified by the government, and that's why they need to answer the question. Because if it is smoking kits or 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 pipes or or whatnot, they got to remove it because it would be illegal for the federal. Look at that statute we just read, mm -hmm. and the state and the local ordinances that would also make that illegal to possess. Well, clarity would be good for everyone. So let's hope that we get it, and we'll be standing by to see how HHS responds. Harry and David. Yes. Thank you both. Thank you. And Thanks, Shannon, congrats on the new book. Can't wait to can't wait to read it. I can get you a copy. Thank you very much. Absolutely. See you guys soon. All right, some good news.